Hello viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, giving you a tour of some unmarked locations on the plains of Skyrim. The first place is right in front and it is near Broken Fang Cave. This is why I keep coming back to Skyrim, the details. I decided to return to how I played when I first bought the game. Just explore and maybe document some unmarked location. This looks to be some form of building or fortification that has crumbled and been dilapidated for a long time. In the distance you can see Gujkar's monument. Inside the ruins, there's an altar, some apothecary supplies, and then over here is a book, Seed, Second Seed, Volume 5, which increases speech. On the altar, there are some silver ingots, a shrine of Zenithar, and a satchel containing some gold coins or something else, possibly. I suppose we should head toward Gujkar's monument. Playing like this, just exploring, gives me a new respect for the game designers. The richness of the terrain and the hidden details, this was what really thrilled me when I first purchased Skyrim. Now that I am at Gujkar's monument, there is another hidden location that you that is used in a quest, and it is just to the south and possibly west of the monument. If you look at this stone formation, it's sort of shaped like a mud crab. In fact, you can see a mud crab under it. This location is actually really interesting. This place is loaded with mud crabs, and if you you can kind of see there is a colossal mud crab right in front. There is some form of quest, I have yet to find it, that involves this location and the spirit of a giant mud crab. And as you can see, yeah, that was a giant mud crab. This location is not very treasure rich, but it does add to the flavor of Skyrim. The game designers put in a lot of rich details and locations that have some ties to standalone quests, like the Mead quest I posted a while back.
I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.